Just as it looked like Man City were about to be brought to justice for the years of cheating and corruption, the UK government have intervened, as they believe charging the club for their breaches of Premier League rules could damage their own relationship with the UAE. As per The Athletic, the political pressure on ministers was such that they refused to even disclose information on foreign office correspondence related to this matter, fearing backlash from the public if conversations were to be made accessible. In fact, The Athletic submitted a Freedom of Information Act request, asking for all correspondence between the Foreign, Commonwealth and Development Office and the British Embassy in Abu Dhabi relating to the aforementioned Premier League charges, but received a response stating, We acknowledge that releasing information on this issue would increase public knowledge about our relationships with the UAE. However, the disclosure of this information could potentially damage the bilateral relationship between the two countries. And with that, their request was denied. Here's why this is problematic. Man City's majority shareholder is Sheikh Mansour, a member of Abu Dhabi's ruling family, as well as the Vice President and Deputy Prime Minister of the UAE, who are an important trading partner of the UK. As if this isn't enough of a conflict of interest, his brother also happens to be the President of the UAE. Believe it or not, just last month, Britain's Deputy Prime Minister, Oliver Dowden, visited the UAE, a trip the Cabinet Office described as a way of deepening and strengthening our diplomatic and investment ties. This is precisely why allowing state ownership in football was a terrible fucking idea. All people like you and I want to see is entertainment on the pitch in an environment where rules are being followed. Instead, what we're getting at the minute is a hideous sports washing project which is eliminating competition through any means necessary stuffed down our throats. It's not the first time politics has undermined the Premier League either. The UK government previously involved itself in football matters back in 2020. At the time, a minister contacted the Premier League's chairman over his initial refusal to to allow the Saudi-backed takeover of Newcastle United to go through. Government officials demanded he reverse his decision, given there was an immediate risk to the UK's relationship with Saudi Arabia if the takeover did not succeed. Lo and behold, that's exactly what happened. And the worst is yet to come in that regard, as it's only a matter of time before Newcastle emulates City's model. As much as I hate to say it, I'm slowly falling out of love with the sport. The game has been dying a slow death ever since Abramovich rocked up on these shores in 2003, and this may very well be the final nail in the coffin. At this stage, I get far more enjoyment from watching the championship or the conference league as you get to see a much more level playing field involving teams competing for silverware that otherwise wouldn't be in the spotlight. Before ending, a huge thank you to Ian Ashby and Man of Valor for their contributions towards my channel this week. It means a lot lads. That's my take on the situation. Do let me know yours down below and I'll catch you in the next one folks. Peace.